Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Oz's Fish Room. I am looking right now at my uh, 20 gallon tall tank and in here we have some Celestial Pearl Danio. These are some pretty elusive little fish. Uh, they're definitely scaredy cats. I appreciate, uh, actually, I uh, apologize for the glare. I'm gonna try to do this as best as I can, but this room certainly is not set up for, for light. And, um, this tank is really coming along good. Um, got a little ant pro or a little snail problem, but uh, I've got some assassins on the way. They'll be in here tomorrow. And um, then we can do away with these uh, pesky little snails, which I cannot stand. First, I thought they were kind of cool and added a little character to the tank. But you know what? I'm just tired of cleaning them and them making little holes in my plants. There's my little celestial pearl danios. I wish I could get a better shot, but... They're such scaredy cats, but they're just such beautiful fish. And I've had them for about a year now, and um, there's about 15 of them in here, half male, and, well, mostly male, and there are some females, but as you can see, they're they're back there. And then um, got some S reppins here, and everything's just gonna look so much better. Um, when I get to my uh, UG planted right here. I've got a little bit of it growing right there, but I can't seem to pronounce it. So for those of you that are uh, well-versed with uh, aquascaping, you know what UG is. Um, and uh, I'm trying to train this clover to grow across the entire tank and I really like it. And uh, this java moss here is doing well. Also, I've put it on this branch and done the old uh, tie down with uh, green sewing thread. And there they are. Um, I'm gonna head uh, into my, um, my main fish room here. So, not really much into editing, so I'm just doing this the easy, lazy way. But this is my Severn tank. Um, they're going into a 150, uh, and then I'm going to be probably splitting some of them off and um, maybe even mixing some of them up. Um, I've got some little ones down here, some super reds and some rock tail, size of a dime and a nickel. And then there's a few adults in here, um, this uh, red spotted gold severum, and then believe it or not, these are super reds, and they're just starting to color up, um, but they're going to be beautiful fish here, I mean they're already beautiful, but they're going to be looking amazing soon, and then these rock tails here are really starting to color up, they're starting to look just beautiful, uh, they there we go. They have such amazing colors though. It's just, it's great to watch them as they get older and they get more and more color. It's so great to see my little ones coloring up too. <laughs> I just, I love these fish. They're so great. And then there's my Uaru. The Uaru. Um, in this tank I have three and um, I like to put the lettuce there and that's just to, to kind of help them keep them behaving. I can see uh, here uh, I've got about what uh, 10 or so Siamese algae eaters. They're great. I know they're not the greatest looking fish but they have a purpose. Um, and then over here I just kind of threw this hodgepodge tank together with a bunch of rose lines in here. And then there's a bunch of Corridoras in there. And then I've got some golden 
zebra loaches in here. There's my Oscar. Sorry about the glare, everyone. Um, I just uh, tied down some more uh, Java moss um, onto these branches, and it's coming along nicely. And then there's a little Anubius that's been on the end of that branch for about a year or so. Let me see if I can find uh, one of my zebra loaches. There's a few of them in here. Yeah, there's one right there. It's just kind of hiding out. I love these these loaches. They're my favorite. I know a lot of people like clown loaches, but there's a, a clown pleco right there. There's one. I've got two of them in here. And then my Corydoras. He, this Corydora is almost three years old. It's pretty big. I've always been a big fan of the rose lines. And then in this tank here, I've got uh, a bunch of uh, cherry barbs and some uh, rummy heads, some tetra. And um, this is another tank that I just kind of threw together. And um, it's like a remnant tank, but you can see all my rummy heads just kind of chilling out back there. So, yeah, this is, that's it everybody. I just wanted to do a quick update. I'm so busy, I don't have really any organization or structure here. And the tanks are in good shape, uh, but I'd like things to be a little bit tidier for sure. But um, when you're in the middle of tearing apart your fish room, because you want to put in a huge 150, uh, easier said than done. So, anyway. Uh, thanks for tuning in and until next time, thank you.